And again, that was Susan McGinnis reporting. Now, many Miami Valley advocates are hailing today's U.S. Supreme Court decision. And 2 News reporter Ann Reif live in Dayton with how they're reacting to the news. Celebrations in the LGBTQ community as Ohioans will now be protected from being fired for their sexual orientation. And many leaders and advocates here in the Miami Valley agree that today's ruling may have more significance than same-sex marriage. The marriage equality case was huge because it was first. This one is huge because it affects everybody. RJ McKay is the president of the Greater Dayton LGBT Center. Years ago, he worked in HR and says many HR professionals at the time were not aware people could be fired legally because of their sexual orientation. They didn't realize that there was a, d a distinguished lack of protection for LGBTQ folks. The people just assumed it was already in the law uh, when really when it came to court cases, uh, like the lower courts ruled, there was no protection uh, for the plaintiffs in this case. The city of Dayton has long been lauded for its inclusivity. Mayor Whaley praised the ruling. One of my friends texted me and said it's really great, you know, that uh, the LGBT community can get married on Sunday and not be fired on Monday now. The decision bans discrimination based on sex, which includes sexual orientation and gender identity. We didn't have that ability to say who we really were and what we really did with whom we were really doing things. McKay says now people can be themselves at work without fear of retribution. Gay and lesbian and transgender folks don't have to sit out and, and think that they're hiding anything anymore uh, because they might get fired if they accidentally say that my boyfriend and I or my girlfriend and I uh, in, in the work context. Now, despite the significance of today's ruling, R.J. McKay says there is still a long way to go. He says discrimination in housing, health care, and mortgage approval still need to be addressed. Live in Dayton, Adam Rye, 5 on 2.